nagbabalik ang Dr. Son TV. We're still talking about chronic kidney diseases with us, two nephrologists from the National Kidney and Transplant Institute, Dr. Bewar and Dr. Simanga. Dok, sabi niyo kanina, daming diabetics, hypertensives, nagkaka-kidney disease, urinary tract infections. Ano bang treatment options natin pag tumataas na yung creatinine? Well, actually, um, if uh, tumataas yung creatinine, no, and then they go into kidney failure, kasi mayroon tayong uh, staging. No? Okay. Pag chronic kidney disease stage 5 ka na, which means the kidney function is less than 15%, they're already a candidate for transplantation. And I'd like to explain to everyone, yung treatment for kid chronic kidney disease ay isa lamang actually. It's just transplantation. Transplant. Yeah, because dialysis is not a treatment. No? Parang it will just um, control your symptoms and the complications, no? parang just to tide you over. But eventually, dapat yung focus ng lahat is to get a transplant. Okay. Ano ba ang ginagawa sa transplant? Uh, sa transplant, kukuha ka ng ibang pwedeng panggalingan na source ng kidney na normal functioning at iyon ang ililipat doon sa pasyente na, o recipient na mga ngailangan ng kidney, yung may sakit ng so dapat kidney. Dapat may donor ka, no? mag-donate dapat ng may donor kidney. Ka. Mm -hmm. I think there are ethical issues with kidney donors. donors. No? Mm -hmm. ano By general classification, may dalawang klaseng donor. Pwedeng living donor or cadaver. Okay. No, yung cadaver yung na-harvest na kasi parang ano na siya eh. Uh, paano sa... Brain dead na siya. Okay. Brain dead na siya, tapos with the uh, permission ng relatives or per desire ng pasyente na nag, nag gusto niya mag-organ donor, okay. no, sila yung possible candidates na ma-harvest na ng kidney para for transplantation. Mm -hmm. okay. So transplantation po here in our country, ano po ang prognosis? Uh, the prognosis is very good, no? Um, siguro, we have patients who've lived for 20, 25 years, no? even after transplant. And most of our surgeons here and the doctors also, no? some of them are also trained abroad. So, kayo niisip ng iba, baka behind tayo. Actually, hindi. No? Pareho okay. lang with other countries. We actually have, and all the meds they're taking in other countries are available here as well. We have the technology, the medication, the education, the knowledge. So, available lahat. And also, the capacity to pay is going to be made easier with uh, PhilHealth. Meron oh, tayong okay. Z-package. Z Kukuha over na ng PhilHealth ang kidney transplant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Especially sa mga low-risk groups. Naka-package right. na yon Around 600,000 ano, to cover for everything. Low-risk groups. Mm -hmm. Low-risk. And wow. a few years ago, may ano, uh, daming foreigners na pupunta sa Philippines for yes. transplant. No? It's part of the mm -hmm. parang, uh, tourism, no? medical tourism in the Philippines. Uh, that's not allowed anymore. Oh, but I think they've been stricter oh, oh. with the yes. ethics yeah. of organ, organ donors now. Eh, so. Oh, yun yung pinasok mong issue kanina yung sa ethics issue. Okay. Uh, mas naging stricter yung guidelines in choosing sino yung bet better candidate yes. na. But definitely we are equipped. And yes. Ay, oh, and oh, oh, oh. In fact, uh, maybe everyone, no, they don't know that we, ha we do around 360 um, transplants a year in the Philippines, so that's around one per day. Okay. Wow. And mga 70% of that is done at the National Kidney for both pediatric and um, adult Adi. patients. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kanina, Dok, nabanggit mo rin ang dialysis, okay. something to tide over the symptoms. Ano bang dialysis? Anong, anong purpose niya? Well, yung basic na purpose ng dialysis is actually to do the function that the kidney is doing, which is to clean the blood. No? Oh, nice. So, inaalis yung dumi and then at the same time, um, inaano din, binabawasan yung tubig sa katawan. So, those are the ways by which we can um, temporarily tide over the patient and um, replace the function of the kidney. So, right. dalawang klase yun. We have hemo and peritonia. Yung hemo, nilalabas yung blood uh, at nililinis no, through a dialysis filter. Um, meron din hemodialysis machine. And the second one is peritoneal, which is satyan, satyan naman. Okay. So, pinifilter yung dugo, tinatanggal yung mga toxins, tinatanggal din yung excessive water. Yes. yes. Sa bata, mas may preference kami sa, sa sobrang maliliit na bata ng peritoneal. Oh, okay. Kasi ang hirap kumuha ng access sa dugo para ikabit sa machine for hemodialysis. Kaya mas nagiging preference namin ang sa chan. Doon Peritone. nilalagay yung tubo. Doon oh. But ang dialysis, exchange. But dialysis will not fix the kidneys. Mm -hmm. No. no. Kasi oh. nga, uh, tulad na banggit kanina ni Doc Lady, Irreversible kasi ang kidney disease, no? no? So, pag chronic kidney disease, irreversible. Mm -hmm. So, at what point yung pasyente po ay eh, kailangan mag-dialysis? 
usually pag less than 15% na yung kanyang kidney function, no? End stage renal failure na yun. And then the creatinine value would actually vary. Mm -hmm. So you need to consult a nephrologist to advise you on that. And if you have symptoms already, na let's say, um, tumataas yung potassium, di na bumababa because they can have a heart attack, nagmamanas, hindi na rin naiihi yun. And then um, yung iba, meron ng chronic pericarditis or then meron ding symptoms ng uremia which is actually yung hindi nakakatulog, nangihina, walang gana kumain because of a high creatinine, then kailangan na absolutely mag-dialysis or mag-transplant. Yung close monitoring niya, di ba? Pwede rin naman, ma'am lady, yung before pa the 15, yung preemptive yes. transplant, kung talagang doon napapunta ang course, pwede na i-prepare, hindi na dadaan sa dialysis, diretsyo na ng transplant. Look, one last question. May mga gamot ba na kasira ng kidneys or notorious for causing kidney damage? Yes, actually, yung mga non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, if they're taken every day, especially for chronic diseases, no, like yung mga arthritis, so okay. it can destroy the kidneys, lalo na kung sira na yung kidney function mo. And then they also have to ask their doctors for other common medications, even antibiotics, um, and siguro mga other things that they take na part ng chronic um, illness nila, kasi the meds sometimes have to be adjusted, lalo na pag ine siya sa bato. Kaya nga emphasize siguro yung pain relievers. No? Kasi over-the-counter over ang mga yes. pain relievers. Some patients, they don't go back to their doctors. Eh. Once they get a prescription, they can buy it over-the-counter. They take pain relievers. Miss Not knowing. Miss antibiotics, ha? may yes. mga nag-allergy, mm -hmm. magkaroon ng reaction sa tubes ng kidney, diretso rin. Eh. Pwede oh. magkatrawal. So, maingat sa mga pain relievers. Mm -hmm. Marami talaga yan. Dami ko rin nakikita. How about sa diet? No? Kasi medyo, usapan natin yan. Um, are there specific type of diet now that's a, ano, na medyo hindi friendly sa kidneys natin? I think it's just really salt, no? Bawal yung masyadong maalat kasi hypertension. Mm -mm. Friendly then, really salt talaga yung hypertension. Kasi tayo sa talaga. Pilipino, <laughs> mahilig tayong mag-sawsaw, no? Bagoong, patis, <laughs> patis oh. soyo, o oh, hindi so, nawawala. Whiskey gravy. Mm. Oh, yes, yes. Mm. They don't realize na it's high in salt, no? Mm. Maybe. Totoo yan. Mm. Okay. 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 So, Sige. Maraming marami marami salamat. Maraming salamat, no? Doc and doctor. Doctor, any final words sa audience po natin? Yeah. Well, for me, yeah. siguro, just like to promote, no, we have activities yes. at the National Kidney and Transplant Institute. Okay. So, we have free um, screening for kidney disease. No, they just have to call the number 9810300 or 9810400 and then siguro magpa-connect kayo sa PIO which is the Public Information Office because um, we have a lot of activities to celebrate National Kidney Month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And in line with that, the outpatient service of NKTI is very much willing to offer you help for those needing this examination and test. Okay. And there's free yeah. consultation at the National yes, Kidney so Transplant Institute. That's the outpatient Institute. service Institute. naman. Oh. Okay. So, any, any uh, greetings. And greetings so, oh. for our audience. Po. <laughs> greetings, where would they be able to find you? Ayun, Clinic schedules? Uh, for me, just call 9810300 and then you can ask for a kidney doctor that fits your schedule. Yeah. Kasi sabi okay. naman ko ano mga schedule na. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyone so, you want to greet now? Mm, wala <laughs> naman. Well, siguro just my family in Cotabato City. Oh, wow. Okay. So, and I, doctor? Ganon din ang family ko. Happy Father's Day sa aking husband at sya kayong aking mga children. Okay. So thank you very much, Dr. Birwar and Dr. Simangan. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. We've learned so much today, but ito naman po tayo with Dr. Supan with Women's Health.